Nick Kyrgios is one of the most controversial players, but he's also among the best on the court, ranked number 21 in the world rankings. Kyrgios is undoubtedly a smart athlete in the game, but as of late, he's proven to be just as smart, if not smarter, outside the court. The 27-year-old has bought shares in an NBL team, making him a co-owner. Stay tuned as we discuss Kyrgios off-court investments and much more. First up, Kyrgios buys shares in Southeast Melbourne. Nick Kyrgios turned his love of basketball into an investment by buying into the Southeast Melbourne Phoenix of the NBL. The deal was announced the day before the Australian Open. The runner-up at Wimbledon in 2022 is making a second investment in sports. He previously invested in Miami PC with four-time Grand Slam winner Naomi Osaka, and the team is set to compete in the U.S major pickleball league next year. Kyrgios will join the ownership group led by investment expert Rami Chaudhary. Kyrgios and Chaudhary already work together because they both invested in a Miami pickleball franchise. The Aussie tennis player will join former NBA champion Andrew Bogut as the co-owner of Phoenix. Bogut is also the co-owner of the Sydney Kings. Kyrgios is a big basketball fan and he even played in the Sydney Kings Starlight Celebrity Game last year before he came to Melbourne for the Australian Open. The Australian tennis ace will become a part owner of the NBL's Southeast Melbourne Phoenix alongside five-time NBA All-Star John Wall and former NBA players Dante Exum and Al Harrington, among others. Kyrgios even practiced on the center court at Melbourne Park as he prepared for the Australian Open, which, unfortunately, he had to drop out of because of a knee injury. But from the looks of of it, Kyrgios is really happy to be a part owner of a basketball team. Kyrgios said in a statement that he was looking forward to working with the Phoenix, especially in a way that could help the franchise grow. Next up, what Kyrgios said about his investment. It's clear that the tennis star is really excited to be a part of the Phoenix ownership group. Kyrgios said that everyone knows his basketball roots, and there has been a lot of growth in the NBL, so this is a big move for him. In a statement, he said that he's thrilled to be joining the Phoenix and his mate, Rami Chaudhary. The Australian star confessed that he loved the vision the Phoenix representative told him, and his team, including him, were very impressed with what the organization has done in such a short time. Kyrgios claimed that he knows he can help the team grow in many ways, and he's especially looking forward to going to Southeast Melbourne to meet the team and fans to work with the city's youth. That's really respectable. Let's just hope he doesn't get drowned in controversies as seen in his tennis career. Speaking of his tennis career, buying shares in Phoenix might have also helped ease the fear that, to be honest, every player has. You're playing the majors and you're on top of the world. That can last for a long time, but it doesn't last forever. He confessed that he has a lot going on, but to be honest, this is one of the most important things for him. Kyrgios even admitted that his time as a tennis player won't last forever. The Australian star claimed that he's one of the tennis players who doesn't travel as much and likes to spend more time in Australia. And if the business needs his help or support, he'll do whatever he can and spend time with them. Moving on to how the team welcomed Kyrgios. Kyrgios' best year as a tennis player was last year, which included a run to the Wimbledon Finals, an Australian Open doubles championship, and the US Open quarterfinals. But this year started differently, as the tennis star is getting praise from not only tennis players, but basketball team owners as well. Tommy Greer, the CEO of Phoenix, is excited about Nick's involvement and what the future holds for the franchise. Greer said that adding one of the best and biggest names in a global sport like tennis is exciting for the club, especially since he's Australian, loves basketball, and enjoyed working with Rami on this project. The CEO also added that the fact that they were able to get someone like Nick to join their ownership shows how far the club has come in its first few years, two of which were very hard because of the COVID pandemic. Many consider the NBL to be one of the best basketball leagues in the world, second only to the NBA. It has a strong presence in the world of basketball, and the number of people who like it is growing quickly. Nick's investment in Phoenix is another sign of how successful the NBL is and how popular it is becoming around the world, and it's all thanks to his friend Rami. That leads us to Rami Kyrgios Park.
partnership. The tennis star and Chaudhary have become good friends in the past few years, and this has led to them working together on different business projects. Recently, they joined the ownership group of the Miami-based team in the new Major League Pickleball. This partnership is run by Stuart Duguid, Kyrgios' agent, and Alex Cohen, Kyrgios' financial advisor. Chaudhary said that he's really excited to have Nick and his team join their ownership group. Rami admitted that he thinks of Kyrgios as a good friend, and he's proud of the great year he's had in spite of all the criticism he's got over the years. Rami added that it's been fun to get to know Kyrgios outside of the court and claimed that Kyrgios is a great person and that his team is great too. The investment guru was all praise for Team Kyrgios, saying that his manager, Daniel Horsfall, his brother, Christos Kyrgios, and his advisors all helped make this happen, and they did a great job for Nick. They continued by saying that the two had already done a few deals together, and Nick's love of basketball made him want to include Kyrgios in this project. Rami then went on to welcome Nick, saying that everyone at the Phoenix is excited to work with him and his foundation on future projects, and that its goals align with their organization's community-oriented approach in the basketball heartland of Southeast Melbourne. We could all use a friend like Rami Chaudhary to help us invest in the right things. Since we're on the topic, let's talk about Kyrgios' other business venture. Moving on to Kyrgios' investment in Miami pickleball team, Naomi Osaka and Nick Kyrgios are the latest big-name tennis stars to join the others who are investing in pickleball and its major league, the Major League Pickleball. Patrick Mahomes is said to have joined Osaka and Kyrgios in owning part of the new MLP team, and the Miami-based team will make its league debut in the 2023 season. In the 2023 season, the number of MLP teams is expected to double from 12 to 24. One of the new teams will be owned by tennis star Kim Klitschers of Belgium and NFL legend Tom Brady. NBA stars such as LeBron James and Kevin Durant also own teams in the league. According to Forbes, Osaka, Kyrgios, and Mahomes share ownership of the Miami-based team with billionaires Soichiro Minami and Matthew Prince as well as NBA agent Rich Paul. Even though the value of the team and size of the investments, especially from the tennis duo, are unknown, it is thought that the league's expansion fee will be between $1 million and $3 million. The Japanese tennis star Naomi Osaka keeps putting her money into businesses that look good both in and out of the sports world. The four-time Grand Slam winner is the highest paid female athlete in the world for the third year in a row. So for Nick Kyrgios, this was a great opportunity that he wisely took advantage of. Pickleball has been making waves in the USA, but what's the deal? What even is pickleball anyway? To put it simply, pickleball is the sister sport of tennis, but there are plenty of differences between the two sports. That leads us to, what is pickleball? After being invented in 1965, the sport has become very popular again in the last few years. Adults and children of all ages play the tennis like game in parks all over the world. Pickleball is a sport that combines tennis, badminton, and ping pong. It's played with paddles and a hollow polymer ball on a court that is about a third the size of a tennis court. If it doesn't sound exciting, that's probably because it's just a smaller, slower version of tennis. But that hasn't stopped some of the most famous people in the world, like Kyrgios, from supporting the new major league. Teams like the one owned by James, Tom Brady, and Mark Cuban, who made a lot of money in tech draft players. Tennis players Nick Kyrgios and Naomi Osaka both invested in the Miami team. Kyrgios posted a picture of all the new stars joining the league with the caption, let's go, on his social media accounts. He might be excited to get in on the ground floor of a league that is getting a lot of attention, but an Australian tennis legend has said that his investment is a terrible idea. Renee Stubbs posted on Twitter that she will not be investing in a pickleball franchise, and she will never turn on a TV to watch pickleball. She further said that she'd rather watch paint dry and doesn't understand why all these tennis players would want to put money into pickleball instead of the game that made them so much money in the first place. We guess not everyone is a fan of pickleball. Finally, the future of pickleball. The U.S. Sports and Fitness Industry Association said that pickleball is a sport that is growing the most quickly. Between 2019 and 2021, the number of people playing pickleball has grown by 39%. USA Pickleball
Pickleball claims there are 4.8 million people who play pickleball in the United States. CEO of Major League Pickleball Brian Levine is sure that the tournament will continue to get bigger and better thanks to Kyrgios' investment and attention. In a statement, he said that the different backgrounds and skills of their great new owners are a huge asset as they aggressively grow the Major League to reach more fans than ever. He further added that they always say that pickleball brings people together, and the list of leaders from many different fields show that this is true. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think that Nick's recent investments are a clever move, or should he just invest in the sport he knows best instead, tennis? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.